What's up guys, Dark Deli here. Today we're playing Freeman Guerrilla Warfare. Now this game just got released into early access about a month and a half ago. And I've been playing it a little bit. Now KK Game Studio was kind enough to send me a free copy of the game. So thank you so much to KK Game Studio um, so I could try out this game. I love playing this game. But it's, it's a bit difficult right now. Or maybe I just suck. We'll see how it goes. Alright, so here we go. Freeman Guerrilla Warfare. Now... The thunder is really walking all over me, isn't it? Let's see if I can uh, let's see if I can turn it down a bit. Let's have a look at this game here. All right, so let's start a new campaign. Now, most people compare Freeman Guerrilla Warfare to Mountain Blade. I mean, I'm just gonna put that out there right now. Most people compare it to Mountain Blade. All right, um, so that's what we're looking. at. We're looking at a real-time strategy slash FPS. Okay, so the first thing we do when we start a campaign mode is. Uh, I guess this is difficulty, but right as of right now, because we are still very early in the early access. By the way, KK Game Studio says they plan for this game to be in early access for the entirety of 2018. So they plan on doing a lot of stuff, and they have done a lot of stuff with this game. But as of right now, the only thing we have is standard mode. That's okay. Now here you get to pick a faction name and logo. Now this is pretty cool. So let's pick a name for our faction. What should we call our faction? How about, uh, <laughs> I got it. I got it. <laughs> Los putos perezosos. There we go. That's what I'm calling my army. Yes, yes, yes. That's what I'm calling my army. What should I name myself? Okay, so here, this was just added recently. I've been playing this game for a couple of weeks, uh, trying to uh, learn it the best I could. And so here we have character creation. This was just added recently. Uh, they're, they're constantly patching and updating this game. So anyway, so you can pick your name now. What should I name my guy? Well, I guess I'm still kind of in a Spanish, like, mode here. So I guess we'll just, go, we'll, we'll name my guy, uh, Añejo. How about that? I don't know why. All right. Um, and you can pick male or female. I'm just going to go with male. I'm just going to leave that selected. I'm going to leave that ticked right there. All right. So here we are. Now. The first thing is you get a welcome screen and you're put onto this open world map. Now here's, there's a lot of really cool things about this game. And one of the really cool things is that when you're on the world map, see this little pause symbol up here where my uh, arrow is here. I'll, I'll, put a, I'll put a thing up there so you can see what I'm talking about. That little pause symbol up there. Whenever you're not moving, the game is paused. If you're not familiar with this genre of game, whenever you're not moving, you're paused. See when I move... Um, the other armies here, see there's other armies. There's one with a strength of 47, one with a strength of 44. You see me here with a strength of 11, <laughs> and there's a strength of 51. The game is pretty hard. Anyway, these guys right here, they move around, and they will attack each other, attack towns, and etc. cetera, uh, to the best of my knowledge. And uh, they move around when I move. But when I stop moving, this pause symbol appears, and my game is paused. Now, that's great, because it means you can sit here and look at the screen for a second and kind of think, and then I'll go for a bathroom break or whatever. All right, so let's see here. I'm still learning this game. Now, using the um, the AWSD keys, I can kind of jerk the screen a little bit, but I can't really move it. There might be a better way to do that. There might be a... I haven't, I've not figured this out. <laughs> not, not in the slightest. There's a... Let's check here. Let's see if they've added a... Um, instructions. There's a, a, there's a lot of good information here in the instructions, but as far as I have seen, unless I'm missing it there's no list of controls. Now what I did was I went to Google Images and I just Googled and downloaded an image with the controls, which you can see right here. Here, I have it on my other screen so I can see it. Uh, just FYI, I have this up on my other screen and I will tell you what I'll, tell you what I'll do guys. Um, if you don't wanna look for it yourself, I'll save you that trouble. I'm just gonna upload this to my Google Drive and I'll put a link to this in the description below. So if you're not sure of the controls, uh, here they are right here. I'm gonna drag this back over to my other screen and go back to the game. All right, so there's that. So I have that up over here. I can see it because uh, I'm still getting used to the controls. Now, basically, you click and you move around the map. Now, there's different towns. If I recall, if I'm correct, there's like 10 different towns. And the objective of the game is to take all the towns and basically rule the world. Okay, so you may be like, well, this is kind of boring. This is just, you know, overhead view. Well, it's not, actually. This game has a great first-person component. What we need to do is we need to find an army that we could actually defeat. 
Okay, so you see right here at the bottom of our unit, our number is 11. This number is 82. Here's 22, 31. These guys are way too strong for me. This game can be a bit hard at first. So when you first start off, you're going to be a bit weak. Now, there are things you can do to get around that. For instance, look at the bottom of my screen. Party, prisoners, inventory, character, info. To my knowledge, prisoners is a new thing, and I haven't tried that out yet. We'll see how that works if we get there. Let's go ahead and hit C for character. And as you can see here, I can add three more attribute points and five skill points. Now, it is my opinion that intelligence is going to be one of the best things to level up first. We're going to go ahead and two, put two points in there. And we're going to get, we're going to, this allows us, okay, so here's how it works. Here's how it works. This is kind of a, yeah, there's a lot of attributes here. So constitution, so you have three attributes, right? So you have constitution, dexterity, and intelligence. Constitution governs vitality, tenacity, armor, inventory, looting, running. Dexterity is going to govern steady shot, small arms, rifle, experts, sniper rifle, heavy weapon, explosive, and intelligence governs first aid, medical, leadership, commanding, instructor, training, navigation. You see how that's set up? Now you see how it's set up. Since I just put two points in intelligence, that means I now have more capacity to put more points in these intelligence-governed uh, skills. Leadership and commanding are good skills to have from my experience. We're going to put a couple right there right now. See how the plus sign went away? Um, as far as I know, I'm still new to this game. That means that's as much as I can do um, in these skills given my in current intelligence uh, score of six. That's to the best of my knowledge. It could be wrong. Now, when you mouse over these, notice that those tooltips in the upper left-hand corner of my screen. Yeah, the tooltips are very good and handy. Let's also put one in constitution just because it can't hurt. Let's put something in inventory and let's put something in small arms because you start this game starts you off with a pistol. Right there, I clicked small arms and the plus sign disappeared. It's because Apparently, with my dexterity of three, that's the highest small arm skill I can have. If I want to increase, apparently, from what I, I, I from what I gather, if I want to increase this more, I'd have to increase my dexterity more. So there's that. Um, I put a point in inventory. That's a good thing to have. This game has inventory and stuff. We'll, we'll get there. And vitality, because honestly, I suck. I'll probably get shot a lot. So there's that. But wait, there's more. <laughs> in the recent update, they added companions. Now, I'm not exactly sure how these work. I've only briefly tested this out. We have um, Anna and Ivan. We have two uh, companions down here. And they also have skills. Ah, uh -huh. Now, these guys, they're basically like reinforcements to your regular force. Let's go ahead and do this real quick, and I will show you what we're talking about. Anna, let's make her smarter and him tougher. I think that's kind of the way to go. Let's make her smart. Let's make her like, uh, okay, I'm not really sure what I'm doing here. I could be... Uh, um. Ooh, more experience. I like that. Oh, she's already got one instructor. See, they come with their own skills. If you notice, she already has, like here we have Anna selected. And you can see she already has some skill points selected. Let's select some more. Um, world map speed, sure. Let's give her some more uh, stuff like that. Now, to my knowledge, she's always with, these guys are always with me. Again, this is something kind of new. We'll see how it goes. You know what? If I select sniper rifle, will that make her a sniper? Eh, let's find out. Let's give her a couple points in sniper rifle. Oh, oh, okay, one point. Very well. And let's give her some first aid. We're just kind of uh, messing around here. And let's give her some... Um, well, it never hurts to have a little more health. And what happens if I do that? Eh, let's find out. Now let's go Ivan. See, now I select Ivan. And I kind of have the same thing. Let's give him lots of constitution. Let's see if this works. Uh, I have a lot... <laughs> I have a lot um, of playing to do in this game to uh, really experience what we're doing here, you know, what's going on. Let's give him some more um, armor skill. Um, his tenacity and vitality is already maxed. I guess the game uh, kind of thought of the same thing I did and made him tougher and her smarter. Okay, well, uh, let's give him... Look, I'm not really sure what this would do on an NPC, so let's just go ahead and do that. I'm not really sure with these uh, leadership and commanding. I know what they do for me. I'm not quite sure what they do on NPC because I am new to this patch. Okay, anywho, so there's that. Sorry about that whole uh, long thing, guys. All right, so we got my we got myself set up and um, Anna and Ivan. So when I go into battle, I'm going to have three forces to command, basically. My guys, Anna and Ivan. Now, if you look up here in the upper right-hand corner, you see I have a 1,000 monies. And so I could go to a town and I could... Let's do that, actually. Let's go to let's go to this town here, 
And see, when you go to a town, you can choose to attack it, which <laughs> would not be a good idea right now. Trade with it, hire mercenaries, go to the barracks, leave. Let's hire some more mercenaries. And see, you can see here when you mouse over them, they have different costs. See, I can afford volunteer squad. Now, here's the thing, though. You know, when I was doing the skills, I, that wasn't just me wasting video time. That was important. Um, your leadership, I believe it is, skill determines how many squads you can control. Um, right now, I have Anna, Ivan, and my regular basic guys. I'm not sure, but let's try. Let's try to take some volunteers. You want as many guys as you can get. Here it shows their equipment. Here you see the little guys, etc. Let's go ahead and hire them. Dude, guys, there's a lot more to this game. So let's go ahead and leave the town and let's get on with it. Let's find someone we can attack and possibly win. See, now my strength is 16. See, the number under my little guy is now 16. I'm now, I'm now a little bit stronger. Oh, they're fighting each other. Oh, that's right. That's something I believe they added this in the last patch. Notice the little crossed rifles there. Uh, the little red symbols over their heads. That's right. They're fighting each other right now. Let's move around and see what happens. I'm actually curious to see because I've not played the game much since this recent patch. So let's see what happens. Oh, look, you can, you can see their numbers changing. Oh, looks like the uh, the guys on the right are getting the shit kicked out of them. Let's find out. Let's see if I can uh, walk up and attack these guys. No, they're locked in combat and I can't. Okay. And it looks like, so then I assume... Again, a lot. there's a lot of new features. There's always new uh, updates coming for this game. It looks like there's an army of 39 here attacking Horba, Hor Horbakiv? Horbakiv? Th this town here. Yeah, it looks like there's a town. It looks like, I mean, I would assume from the crossed rifle symbol, does that mean there's people attacking it? I think so. I am very, very new to this. All right, so these guys over here, anyway, these guys over here, these two armies appear to still be locked in combat. Let's try this Ponza Field Patrol. There we go. Here, let's just fight these guys. All right, here we go. So here, so here's combat. Here's the uh, first person uh, slash strategic component of this game. All right, so we're going to appear here. Now, the first thing we can do, first of all, we can hit escape and pause the game at any time. Now, that's great. We can do that. Now, don't forget, as I said, we have this... Um, I'm running the game in full screen mode, which means that if I click something else, it minimizes it. That's what happened there. But we have uh, this, I have controls open on the other monitor just to remind me of how to play the game, which is a great idea. And again, I'll have that image linked in the description of this video. Let's go back to the game. So here we are in first person mode. Now, um, what we can do, there's a few things we can do here. We can press M and we can just toggle t between map and first person with M. So first, let's go to the map. First, here's the battlefield. And we can move around the battlefield with the AWSD keys. We can move around it. And there's a way we can turn the camera. Um, oh, yeah, middle mouse button. There we go. Middle mouse button is going to rotate the battlefield for us. All right, so we can see the, the enemy forces coming in here and here. You can see by the red arrows. Let's go ahead and deploy our guys. So we have volunteer squad. And we're going to hit, um, let's just hit deploy all. This should deploy all my guys. Um, okay, just uh, the ones I have clicked. So then we click Anna, Ivan. Yeah, I think I got this right. Okay, okay. All right, so now if we look, if we, we can zoom in with the with the, uh, mouse wheel, and then we can use the, um, the keys and the middle mouse button to zoom in and see what we got here. Okay, so here we have... Now look at the bottom of the screen. When I click different ones, it highlights different ones. So here we have... Here's the volunteer squad. What we can do is... Um, Oops, here's Anna. Oh, shit. All right, let's move Anna up. Oh, they're already attacking. Okay, very well. Here's Ivan. We're going to move Ivan up this way, and we're going to move the volunteers. Okay, they're going in first. And these guys are going in. We're going to have them flank up here. Let's see if this works. I don't know. All right, there we go. Now, all right. Yeah, it kind of threw me into this. So the game starts you off with your little Glock here, and... Um, you can select your weapon with the uh, number keys. So I selected my Glock. And where are the enemies? So you can help your guys fight. So you, you can tell your guys where to go and you can help them fight. Now, I'm going to die horribly because I'm trying to narrate a video and play this. Oh, there they are. Oh, they're all, they're, uh, they're skylining up there. I see them. Yeah, I see them. I'm not hitting anything, though. Now, to my knowledge, in this game, you only have the ammunition that you actually have in your inventory. 
which means if I reload, I'm gonna lose this magazine. So, and and the the only oh shit, someone shot me. I didn't even see it. All right, so that's fair enough. So the ammo you have, you actually have. And if you lose it, then to my knowledge, you lose it and you need to buy more from uh, the towns and stuff. And of course, you can buy better weapons and all kinds of stuff. Let's go ahead. Uh, let's see what happens if I what happens if I do this. Engage without me. Okay, my army was destroyed. Yeah, I died pretty quick because I was trying to talk and record a video. Hey, it's fine. Uh, it's okay. This is about the 20th game I've created on this, trying to progress. So you can see my strength is now zero. Look at that. <laughs> my strength is now... See the number under my guys? My strength is now zero. So how do I even actually find... Let's, let's have a look at my characters here. Oh, Anna and Ivan are gone. Look down here. They're, they're, they're... Wow, how about that? How about that? Okay, so I failed horribly. I'm still learning the game. That's okay. So I've shown you guys a little bit. There's a lot more videos of uh, Freeman Guerrilla Warfare coming up on um, my channel here. Again, uh, courtesy of KK Game Studio. Uh, I'm able to play this game. I think them a lot. I'm having a lot of fun playing this, but I'm also not particularly good at this platform, apparently. So it's going to take me some time, guys. I will be back with more footage from this. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Or obviously any tips you may have to help me play better, of which I'm sure there will be many. Guys, I'm Dark Deli. I will catch you guys next time. You guys all take care.